The school system now has a balanced budget and yet faces a tough year ahead. The CEO took time to talk about this past year and the lessons learned in the midst of a crisis. A warm school board reception for Dr. Sonia Santelises. It was also the calm before the storm. You know it's going to be something, something. right? I mean, it is. It's just, it's going to be something. And it just happened that on my watch, it turned out to be a big budget piece. But, but we weathered it. For the better part of the school year, the CEO turned her attention toward a $130 million deficit, one that threatened the jobs of more than 1,000 teachers and other school system employees. From that day forward, Santa Lisa spent a good bit of her time at the State House and City Hall pleading for help. And she didn't go it alone. Parents, top administrators, and even students joined the fight for funding. And support also came from outside Maryland. I mean, I got emails from colleagues from the West Coast, from the Midwest, from South, mm. from New England saying, my God, I can't believe this. It's only now that the school CEO is able to look beyond the headlines and see the signs of progress in city schools. I got a chance to celebrate schools um, that have shown growth, which in the midst of all of the craziness around funding, it was nice to be able to celebrate schools that had done that. Santa Lisa's is giving high marks to her inner circle, staff members, cabinet, and family members. Work family balance will save you when times get tough. Um, and my family, my husband and girls have been wonderful. They have kept me grounded. The CEO is spending the summer catching up and laying out next year's agenda, one that will not include a big budget deficit. At school board headquarters, Tim Tootin, WBAL, TV 11 News.